Hey, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing my latest hair product. It was actually gifted and in, in no way do I need to make this video. Like, I was not required to make this video, but I had to share it because I was really, really impressed. So this is a brand that I've actually already purchased items from them before, but they had a new product launch and so they sent me this new product and I tried it out and I just like am in love with it. So in case you've missed it, I've shared a couple of other products in my previous video, which I'll link here from Color Wow. So I have shared a like, little review on the Color Wow Extra Large. This one is more for like the roots if you're looking for more volume. This one right here is amazing, the Dream Coat. If you're looking for something that's like really sleek, but I feel like this new product that I have is actually better than this one. Now this one's also going to add a little bit more shine, but if you're somebody who suffers with like frizzier hair, or if you have a lot of hair and you're looking for something that's going to really tame your strands, especially when it's really humid outside, then you're going to want to know about this product. But this one I still like. So if you want to see the before and after of me using the product, then just keep on watching. Um, this is a product that I have tried before. So the first one is from Bumble and Bumble. This is the Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Primer. So this is actually a heat and UV uh, protectant. You can put it on your hair. I like to put it whenever it's damp. I just brush it through my hair and it just gives me that added protection whenever I apply styling tools or heat to my strands. The new item that I have for you today is this one from Bumble and Bumble. So this is the Long Last Styling Cream and this is just basically says lasting moisture and style retention. What I have noticed, now I've already used this so I can speak on it, <laughs> but what I've noticed is that uh, my hair tends to be a little bit more on the drier side and I live in Houston, so it's really hot and humid here. So whenever I, I love the way my hair looks when I blow dry it straight, but it really will just last like one day. And I've noticed with this, it will last a few days. I have been working out lately. And so, you know, I've been having to wash my hair almost every day because I can't with the sweat, like I have to wash it off. But I've noticed that like on the weekend, I can go all weekend with a blowout with this product on my hair and it lasts and I really love the way that it just kind of makes my strands look very like healthy looking I have not had a haircut in I, I want to say I'm pushing one year at this point like I'm so bad about getting my haircuts I have one scheduled next week so that's good <laughs> but yeah so the ends are very very like damaged and they need to be uh, trimmed but I really liked the way that this product looks. So I'm going to show you how I apply these products and then I am going to blow dry my hair so you can see how it looks before and after. I would suggest definitely starting out with damp hair. My hair is still semi damp, but it has gotten a little bit drier. I've been um, still summer vacation here, so I'm still dealing with my kids here. I had to get them lunch. So uh, my hair is kind of a little bit dry, but I did go ahead and kind of re-wet it with this. This is from Salt Air. This is just a moisture brown leave-in conditioner. Um, so that is all I am putting on right now. I already had put it on, but I'm just going to re-put it on so you could see how it looks. So once I put that on, it just kind of gives it a little bit added moisture. I am really enjoying the products from Saltaire. I got their shampoo and conditioner from Target and I really enjoyed it. I love the smell and it really gets my hair like really hydrated and soft and 10 out of 10. <laughs> I really enjoyed this hair care line from Target, especially because it was a little bit more affordable. So. That's good. Next, I'm going to go in with the primer. And again, this is more of a heat protectant because I go in with some high heat. There's nothing wrong with added uh, protection. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Like my hair is very, very thick. Uh, it, it is also naturally wavy. So if you can see, there is like a curl pattern there so if I want to get rid of it I need to apply heat and I will also share with you the actual tool that I'm going to be using I used to use a hair dryer but I don't anymore so after I put on the primer then I'm gonna go in with the styling cream word of caution I thought that because I have a lot of hair I put like a big old glob 
on my hair on my hand and whenever i put it i just i don't like to put anything like especially styling creams here um touching like the scalp because then your hair tends to look a little like oily so usually like here down is where i would apply this cream but a little bit goes a long way so if you have thinner hair or if you don't have that much i lit i i'm telling you like you probably only need like that much what is that like a nickel size amount and just spread it through all your hair that's really all you're probably gonna need this stuff otherwise like the first time that i used it i used too much and i felt like my hair looked a little bit oily so i'm just gonna put that here on the ends and just run it through i'm gonna really go in on the ends because they are super dry and they just need all the help that they can get so. so now that we have that in again i do suggest doing this with damp hair a lot of the times these products that i share with you it says you can put it on damp or dry hair i've just noticed like i really wish they wouldn't say that because like there is a difference and it does like the product does kind of like um like the end result is different whether you put it on damp hair or dry hair so i would suggest doing it on damp hair on dry hair it's just gonna like i feel like it's it's just gonna lay differently so and do it on damp hair okay so what i'm going to be using today to apply the heat is this from t3 this is the airbrush duo absolutely love this thing if you follow me on instagram like i've shared this a ton of times it's also on my ltk this is another product that was gifted but i absolutely love it so why am i so out of breath so did i work out right <laughs> uh so I have done a review on the Revlon styling brush. So I'm going to link it here if you want to go check that out. While I do love that brush, I don't love how hot it gets. So I've noticed that this one does not get as hot and I love it because it comes with two heads. So I'm going to be using this one to kind of just really dry my hair and try to get it straight. So this is more of like a brush head. It's also a round brush so you can just interchange those. I love doing uh, whenever I'm doing like a blow like after I've blow dried my hair straight and I want to create some uh, volume or some style by like curling the ends I use this head. But for right now I'm just going to use this one and I will speed through this because I doubt you want to see it all. Okay, so I just finished blow drying it. I will say, I think me adding the leave-in conditioner prior to applying the other products, I feel like it's weighing my hair down a little bit. Usually I don't put this on prior to blow drying my hair. I was just using it kind of like to re-wet it uh, because it was a little dry, but if you've ever tried leave-in conditioner, you know how it feels. Usually I will put this on when I'm just like air drying my hair just to give it a little bit more moisture, but, but I probably shouldn't have done that. So I think that as long as you're not putting a leave-in conditioner prior to the Bumble and Bumble Primer and Bumble and Bumble Long Last Styling Cream, then I think you'll be okay. But as you can see, like it really kind of like makes my hair a little bit more sleek. Granted, my ends, as I mentioned, like they have not been uh trimmed for like over six months so at this point what i would do is go in with the brush but with the round head just to kind of shape the ends or attempt to what i will say is that whenever you're blow drying your hair especially if you want to get that really sleek look and if you have like that curl pattern like i have you really need something that's going to create tension so like these brushes they have other bristles right here kind of like if you had a round brush that's kind of like what they are and then there's these little longer ones that are harder um 
see if you can focus on that so it has like the bristles and then it also has that so the bristles really kind of like smooth it out and don't come at me about hair on here I had somebody that was so disgusted that there was hair it's like it's my product like I don't share this with anybody so like why does it matter anyways I do clean out my brushes but I do use it so that should be my hair on it so let's go in and finish it off with the round brush if you don't have one of these brushes I also have this one this is the this is the brush that I had shared last time that somebody said it was disgusting that if you look closely these are bristles inside there. That is not my hair. I don't have blonde hair. Now, yes, there are some hair, but a lot of this is the little bristles and somebody was like so disgusted when I shared this. So this works really well. Anything that's going to like really grab your hair and get that tension. So like this one, you can like really get tension in on it. So if you don't have, you know, the T3 airbrush duo, uh, it's fine. You can just get yourself a round brush like this this is con air i think i probably got it at like target i'm sure you can get it at amazon i'll link one down below if you want to check it out but right now i'm gonna go in and change this head and this one is hot hi right, chihuahua okay and i'm gonna put this one on and it's gonna work Okay, and there you have it. There is the finished product. So, so you can see super, super sleek. Usually before I had these products, I would just use this. Sometimes I would still have to go in with a little bit of hair oil on the ends to kind of smooth them out. But this stuff really does a good job. Obviously I need to brush it a little bit more, but I feel like it just gives you good little shine. It makes my hair look a lot healthier than it really is because obviously I have not cut it but it's a really great product is only thing is a word of caution is a little bit of product that goes a long way like I even feel like maybe the amount that I put which was a little bit more than a quarter size on the palm of my hand whenever I applied it I feel like even that was a little bit too much for as much hair as I have so if you have thinner hair like this bottle this is uh, 6.7 fluid ounces. It's gonna last you a very long time, but it just gives your hair just like a little bit more life. So there you have it. That is my Bumble and Bumble Invisible Hair Oil Long Lasting Styling Cream. Uh, I really, I guess I was just really reviewing this one. This is more of a primer, but you can use it by itself, but I feel like this one really gets you that sleek look if you're somebody who um, suffers from more frizzier hair uh, or your hair is a little bit on the drier side and you want it to look a little bit more hydrated i feel like you'll really enjoy this one let me know in the comments if you've ever tried any bumble and bumble products and which one is your favorite all the items that i share with you today i will go ahead and link down below for you i hope y'all have a wonderful day and we'll chat soon bye